Good morning, good morning, good morning, YouTube. Okay, so the long-awaited package is here from the UK. And we have a little packing slip on here. I'm just going to pop this off. This is an art haul that I've been eagerly awaiting. But wow, they got this thing taped up. Um, so let's see. Usually they have their own little uh, plastic envelope that you can open and take out the packing slip. But they've got so much packing tape on this box. Now, I, one thing I will say about the box is that the box, it, if it was me, um, you can kind of see how that's kind of crushed in there a little bit. Um, and I do have some items that are probably the size of the box, so I'm hoping they're not ruined. Um, but I would have used, if it was me, I would have used a heavier cardboard like um, the USPS uh, Priority you know, flat rate boxes, they're pretty strong cardboard. Um, yeah, because I think this cardboard here is, you know, not quite strong enough to make uh, an overseas trip, even though it's coming by air, which of course we all realize that anything that comes, you know, it's going to come by air. So let's see, we've got, ooh, look at that long list. <laughs> yep, it's actually two pages long, guys. So there's quite a few things in here. Um, I don't know. I had kind of complained to them because it took me at least eight tries to place an order. Um, my cart kept disappearing. It was very frustrating and it took me over the course of three days to place an order. This is Jackson's art, but the girl that I spoke with on their Facebook site was really, really nice. Her name is Debbie. And, you know, when I placed my order, I did, they have a place for a note in there. And so I, holy cow, this is insane. Oh, there's so much tape. Um, yeah, so I did leave a note um, letting them know that I never had so much trouble. And I am not, you know, I don't like to be negative. I want to be positive with the world and, you know, kind of karma thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> so anyway, I, uh, yeah. I let them know that I had trouble. I never received any response back from them at all. None. So, yeah, I was expecting maybe a little note or something, you know, saying, oh, gee, we're sorry about that, and blah, 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 but that's okay. It's okay. At least I let them know. Look at, see, and I try and open this box, and look at that cardboard. It just crushes right down. So, this is a very weak box. Um, that has a lot of these little bubbly things in here though guys but yeah it's, it's packed I mean these items are packed really well so let's see oh my gosh guys can you see what I got my very first schmink um, artist grade professional watercolor schminky and we're going to do a a review on those. Oh, no, I'm not going to pull that out yet. Let's see what all this is. This is all kinds of paper. And I don't know if you want me to show you individually what all this stuff is. I'm sorry, but I have to show that again. Schmanky paints. Let me tell you what's in here, guys. Um, if I can read through the no, I can't. Lemon yellow, cad yellow, cadmium red light, permanent carmine, ultramarine finest. Oh, and then I can't see because, let me see if it's on the back. No, it's not. Um, there's kind of a thing in the way to where I can't see. I think that's a, what kind of green is that? Is that a saffron? Yeah, the uh, box is in the way. So there's two colors that I can't, I'm trying, but let me see if there's any way I can get past this glare. Um, I think it's, I think it's Prussian blue and, sorry, I, I'm trying to tell what green this is. Hmm. I think it's thalo green, I'm not sure. And then I've got a permanent green the tubes are turning 
Yellow ochre, English, Venetian red. Ooh, that's, I think that's one of their new colors, isn't it? Sepia brown and ivory black. So that's what's in the Schmeke tube set. Um, and like I said, it's 12 five milliliter tubes. And guys, I got that at a steal of a deal. And where's that paper? I'm gonna tell you how much I paid. Of course, you have to realize there's an exchange rate, but it's not that much. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll make it. I paid 38.33 euro. I think that's euro. Yeah. So the papers that I got, I'm going to just read them off. I got uh, St. Cuthbert's Botanical Ultra Smooth Watercolor Paper. I got three of those. I got a Canson Heritage um, 300 GSM Rough. I got a Hot Pressed Canson Heritage Rough. Um, actually, why did they list those separately? Actually, I got two of those. Um, I got a Moulin de Roy, which is made by Canson. Um, and I got two sheets of that. I got Jackson's Echo Paper. I got two of those. I got Jackson's Two Rivers watercolor paper, and I've got one of those. Um, I got another St. Cuthbert sample pack. And I think the sample pack has at least five or six items in it. So I got one of those. I got Saunders. It says new surface. So I'm not sure. Yeah. So. But anyway, here is the big... Uh, whoa! That's, that's... A lot of the papers are in here. This is the Jackson's... Yep. So we will go all through those papers in a separate video, guys, but there's just too much in this box for me to um, show you each individual one. So I'd like to make a, you know, we'll talk about watercolor papers um, and sampling them, which I think if you're a newbie like me, it's very, very, very important for you to do that. It really is. And I got these these are in a bag but these were really inexpensive I got a bunch of half pans I think I got four dozen half pans and they were really inexpensive and I will tell you how much Jackson charges for their half pans if I can find it on my list la, la, la. Um, a set of 12 is two dollars and eight cents and I got four cents. So that came to $8.32 euro. So that's amazing. Because I plan on getting some different palettes. Um, oh, these things are wrapped so wonderfully. Let's see what's in this. So I'm still, my video stopped again. So what I'm going to do is, I didn't want to really open this, but I think... Um, we'll start over again. It has lemon yellow, cadmium yellow light, cadmium red light, permanent carmine, ultramarine finest. I think the next one is Prussian blue. I think the next one might be phthalo green. I'm trying to read because this part of the packaging is blocking the names. <laughs> so this part right here is blocking the names. I believe that that is phthalo green. Permanent green olive, maybe? Yellow ochre, English Venetian red, sepia brown, and ivory black. So that's what's in this 12 tube uh, Schmecke set. And I opted to get it in the card. This is called the cardboard set, I guess. I opted to get this in the cardboard because I don't need a special box to put it in because I'm going to be getting a porcelain palette eventually for myself that will be here in my studio. And then also um, I will figure out what I'm going to use as a travel palette for these guys. So yeah, um, let's go back to the papers for just a moment because these are amazing. One thing I do want to tell you is that in with the papers, 
I got the same exact colors that I just happened to get in the cardboard set. Um, it is a color dot card from Schmanke. And the cool thing about this one is um, that it's free, one per customer. So when you place a Jackson's order, if you do want to try Schmanke paints, but you can't afford it, they do give you this and there's a little swatch card. So I also have the Schmanke um, 2017 that uh, actually Schmanke themselves sent me directly from Germany. Um, so I've got the new 2017 colors. So we will go ahead and test out both of these. That way I don't have to swatch out my uh, new tubes separately because I've already got the little swatch cards here. And these are the same exact colors that I just got in that cardboard tube set from what I can see. All right, so let's go ahead and open one of these other rolls here. We've got these corrugated cardboard rolls. I'm gonna open that up. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited. I hope this is the pencils I've been waiting for. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, they are. Okay, so that's corrugated cardboard that's all around me. This is a white gel pen. It's my very first one. I was going to get the Uniball, but they didn't carry that one. So this one is called Hybrid Gel Grip. Um, I'm trying to see if it, there's a brand on it. Maybe that is the brand. But it's my very first gel pen. Um, and it's got a nice rubber grip here um, to hold on to. So that'll be nice and comfortable. And this is for highlighting. So I'm very excited about that. We'll put that over here. And these are what I've been really waiting for, guys. Really waiting for. These are Derwent's. And I've unfortunately got the camera too far from me. These are Derwent's. I'm trying to turn us sideways here. Um, these are Graphitones. See if I can turn that. So you can read that. Okay, and these are water soluble graphite. So when you draw, just like you normally draw with a pencil, you can add water to these and you get a watercolor effect on the graphite. Isn't that amazing? So they have different levels of intensity. I got the light wash and the dark wash, and I got a white. So I cannot wait to try these. I'm so excited to try those pencils. You have no idea. Let's see what else is in one of these little rolls here. Let's see what else is in here. This is a big long roll. I hope this is brushes. Because I did order some brushes. Oh, brushes! Let's see what we got. We got some brushes. Oh, we got a number eight pure squirrel mop. Jackson's brand. Okay, and then we got let me read these. A number eight Kalinski round and a number four Kalinski round. And I'm so excited to try these. These were on the clearance, and I can see that they don't come to a super point. Um, but boy, I didn't pay hardly anything for these two brushes. What, what happened to my order form? Let's see if I can tell you how much I paid for these two brushes on clearance. Um, for the number four round, I paid $2.92. And for the eight, I paid $3.33. And for the Pure Squirrel Mop Brush, which is a size eight, I paid $9. The Derwent um, Water Soluble Graphite Pencils were... The light and dark wash were $1.50 each, and the white pencil was $1.25. And of course, that's euros, and you have to figure out there's just a little bit more, a uh, few cents more you have to add on for the exchange rate. So I am very, very pleased. You guys, this is like Christmas. These papers, I wanted to back up and show you these papers just for a moment before we go on. Um, this is St. Cuthbert's Mill. Mold made, gelatin surface size, 100% cotton, acid free and archival. And there's a whole pack of this in here. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. Then I've got 
two of these Jackson's packs. And I love this. This is like rag paper, and I, I don't want my hands to touch this, but I, because of the, um, I don't know if you can see the edges. See how the edges are ragged? The, uh, what do they call it? The deck. I always want to say decollete, but that's not the right word. Um, available in three weights and three surfaces. Uh, 140 pound, 200 pound, and 560 pound, or 300 GSM, 425 GSM, and 1200 GSM. The 140 is medium rough to extra rough. The 200 pound is medium rough to extra rough, and the um, 560 pound is extra rough. Okay, so we've got two sample packs of that. Echo handmade paper made from 100% recycled cotton rag, internally and externally sized, acid free and mold made with deco edges. So I've got two packs of that to try out. I've got another St. Cuthbert's mill. Um, I think it has um, it's got knot, which is the um, cold press. I've got rough white, and there's something else in there, but I can't really see what else is in there. Yeah, so, and then I've got Jackson's 140 pound, 200 pound, and 300 pound uh, cold press, white handmade rag watercolor paper. And so those are nice for little landscapes that size. I don't want to really get my hands on them. So that's very nice. Um, we, talk, we talked about the dot card. What else have we got in here? What else have we got in here? Let's see. Let's see. What do we have? We've got something in here. Oh, we've got another little cardboard thing we've got to unwrap here. What the heck is that? What the heck is that? <gasps> oh, it's paint. It is paint. And what does that say? Sennelier, Lacquerel, Caput Mortem. You're like, what the heck? You just got one Sennelier paint? Caput Mortem, number 919. I don't have any Sennelier paint. <gasps> Lacquerel, full pan, dioxide purple, Sennelier. I've got two Sennelier paints to try. But wait, there's more! <gasps> da, 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 da. <laughs> this is an eight tube set, guys, and it comes in this really cute travel box. Um, and I probably won't unbox it here. Um, I will do the unboxing and the color swatches on another video. But check it out. So now I've got, of course, if you followed me, let me move this box. If you followed me on my other um, videos, you know that I just got in um, from Dick Flick all my Daniel Smith colors um, from Amazon. I got this metal Meden, and that's spelled M-E-E-D-E-N, um, 48 half pan palette, and I put my Daniel Smith colors in here. And I do have room to put the Sennelier and the Schmincke um, colors in here, but I'm not going to because I'm going to be a brat and just slowly add some more Daniel Smith colors. <laughs> not that a beginner needs any of these, but you know, it's addictive. And also, you know, how can you improve and all that if you don't test yourself out? Now, did I show, I can't remember if earlier in the video because my video cut off. So I don't know if you guys got to see that I ordered, um, I ordered four dozen half pans from Jackson. And for a dozen, they're two dollars and two cents, right? Something like that. So for four dozen, it was eight dollars and thirty-two cents, I think. So that is amazing. That's an amazing price to get a dozen half pans for a couple bucks. So if you're placing an order to Jackson's, um, the items that I got, I am thrilled to death with. Um, even though the box felt a little crushy, everything came in perfectly fine. Everything is 
You know, the only thing that had an issue was one of my graph graphitone pencils has a flat top instead of a point. <laughs> and we don't care because it was wrapped very, very well. So, yeah, I'm just thrilled to death with all my little toys. There aren't enough hours in the day to play with this right now, um, but I intend to try all of it. So, yeah, I don't know where to start first. <laughs> But it's Inktober, so I've got to get my, uh, this is day three of Inktober, and I, I tell you what, I don't even have any inks to use for Inktober. I have a, uh, one fine black Sharpie that I got at the dollar store, and I got a set of, uh, dollar store ink markers, um, that I paid like a buck for, or whatever, and my first two days of Inktober, that's what I've been using, so, and I've never been taught I don't know anything about inking um, I'm just drawing you know they're just simple simple just simple simple um, figures and today's um, uh, prompt word is poison and so I've already I decided last night what I'm going to do and I looked up some reference photos and I'm very excited and um, yeah so you can check me on Instagram for all my photos and um, yeah, this video is getting too long, but look for me to unbox the Sennelier's um, and to unbox the uh, Schmecke and get them in some um, probably travel palettes. I don't, the only thing I have right now are um, the Whiskey Painter, they're the Altoid size tins. Um, and uh, that's why I ordered a bunch of the uh, half pans so that I could set up some travel pans to take different types of colors along with me. I was also thinking of using my um, Winsor & Newton uh, Cotman palette because it's really a really cute little palette. Um, and it has a little water well and I didn't realize but the water well actually can clip on the side here. I wish they had two of them but there's only one because there's room for another one there. And then it's got the tray that pulls out on the bottom for more mixing wells. And you can take this completely off too if you wanted to. So, I mean, you know, I mean, it's not the biggest palette, but it really is a great use of space. Um, and it, it would be easy to travel with. So I was thinking about taking these um, Cotman colors out because they're student grade and replacing them with either the Schmenke or the Sennelier. So, yeah. That is my plan, Stan. So look forward to me playing around with more palettes and testing out these gorgeous professional colors and doing some um, swatch cards too. It will be so much fun. And I hope that you will join with me and that you enjoy these art hauls and unboxings. Can you imagine Diocesee Purple? Oh. One thing I do want to tell you about Sennelier, um, Sennelier, from what other artists are saying, they actually, when you first start using them, sometimes you might be maybe a little disappointed, not in the colors, but in the vibrancy, because what they're known for is their um, glazing and layering. The more layers you put on, the more glazes you put on, the more vibrant um, the colors get and the higher intensity and so I'm really looking forward and I do think that all these different paints have their fantastic qualities over one another and also similarities to one another. Sennelier is made with honey um, instead of the gum arabic. Well maybe it does have gum arabic in it too I'm not sure but I do know that they are well known for their honey. So yep I just can't wait. Look forward to more videos where we do our uh, swatch samples and I really don't want to do a comparison between Daniel Smith, uh, Sennelier and Schmenke for a couple months until I've done a bunch of paintings and I can give you an honest review from a beginner's point of view. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm not supposed to be in this picture, only my hands are. <laughs> um, but remember, guys, remember, you are all amazing, just as you are. Bye.